I've already shuffled and I pulled two oracle cards for your recent past. They are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go over the present time, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why it's all happening. So, Leo, in the recent past, we have free yourself. And below free yourself, it reads, it's time to take back control of your life. And it's paired with rest. Now, on the flip side of rest, it reads, take a mental break. A quiet mind has direct access to wisdom and insight. So, in the recent past, you could have needed to free yourself from something. And you knew it was time to take back control of your life, take back control of your thinking, you needed to free yourself from possibly a situation or a person. And you felt there was a strong need for rest. Yeah, this lady looked like she probably has been sleeping for days. And you were tired. Something had you really drained in the recent past. So you needed a mental break. And you knew it would have bought you some wisdom and insight but uh, you just you had to free yourself from something from the past because it had you really drained and it looks like you probably you couldn't wait to take it and when you finally got the rest you slept for days or that was something that you wanted to do in the recent past something that you needed to do it was time to take control back of your life so once again, that's a recent past. Now let's move on down and take a look at the present time. We have strength and higher foot. Now the strength card, it's about taking time to meditate, contemplate, and probably spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you got a lot of kids. Don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear at this time. Because outward things around you, they'll probably going, they'll probably be going all right at this time. But what's most important is keeping on, is keeping your head straight at this time. That's going to be the most important thing. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So make sure you're conquering any fears at this time. Control your impulses and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. When the strength card talks about love and relationships, uh, they should be going really well with the strength card. And if you're committed, it's likely to be a very strong relationship, mutually supportive and beneficial. And if you're looking for someone and you're single Leos, if we have any single Leo watchers out there, if you're looking for a relationship at this time, this is a much better than average time to meet people. You should be in a self-confident phase. So make sure you get out there, socialize, even if it's just online. And I say this because with this strength card coming up in your reading, you may be very pleasantly surprised by how things work out or how they turn out. Now, the strength card is paired with the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant is about possibly searching for the meaning of life and... You're considered to be a great loyal friend. When this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important personal matters, their intelligence and empathy, it puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. Now, this could be you, Leo, or it could be someone that's coming towards you like this. This type of person, they'll be quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher. Well, not only a wise teacher, but... Uh, they'll be marked by integrity. Quite frankly, this type of person, this Hierophant type of person, uh, they're the genuine article, a true blue. Highly admired individuals. They walk the walk and they talk the talk. They stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. And when we talk about love and relationships and you get the Hierophant, if you're asking about how your partner's feeling, just know that they love you very much deeply very deeply 
Yeah, it's a love that cannot be broken. So that's what we have for your present time, strength and hierophant. Now with these two cards paired together, the strength card is about self-love, self-respect, unconditional love for yourself. Uh, your confidence should be at a peak. So never lose patience with what you're trying to do at this time. Um, because things will be going well. Yep, it's about um, being strong. And if you're in a relationship, it, it's going strong. It's growing well. And if it's not now, it will be really soon. Now, the strength card, like I said, is with the higher foot. So, uh, like I said, you could be feeling spiritual. Or you might want to lean towards your spirituality. It's about um, being true. So you're being true to yourself or you should be. Try to be true to yourself at this time. And, um, and stand strong. And conquer any fears at this time. So that's basically what um, these two cards are saying for your present time. Now, let's move on down. Let's take a look at how the person that you're dealing with, um, how they see you. They see you as this Five of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Swords, uh, you could have some mixed feelings about life in general and probably a few people, few people in particular. Don't ignore these feelings, but don't feel you, that you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either, as you can ruin the very things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and your lover. Think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. Pick your battles at this time. When this Five of Swords talks about love and relationships, unfortunately, it means conflict. As you can see, this man is running around with these swords. And he looks like he's ready to cut everyone's head off. So it could mean conflict is near. That's for sure. Things may not work out as you would have hoped. In, some, in a love relationship. Or the connection. Think calmly and carefully about what your deal breakers are. In the relationship. Be honest with yourself first. Then be honest with your person accept any reality and this is how they see you running around with some swords you got mixed feelings about this connection they see you as um, you're having conflict or you're bringing conflict to this connection and because it's paired with this page of Pentacles um, Page of Pentacles is about if you're in a relationship, it could have lost some its luster. That doesn't mean it's the end. It does not. But it does mean that action and discussion, a lot of talk and communication is necessary to create change. You're going to have to be honest about how you're feeling. You're going to have to express yourself. A lot of talk. And if you're single, some single Leos out there listening, and you cannot seem to meet someone new at this time, take a good, careful look at what you're holding in your heart. Because with this page of pentacles showing up in your reading, it's showing that you could still be attached to someone from your past. And you may need to let that go before you can expect to move forward. So back to how this person that you're dealing with this person uh, that you're with they view you as like I said with some mixed feelings they see you as bringing a lot of conflict to this connection uh, this could be about an abusive situation 
or some violence in this connection um, with this five of swords and it's, like I said it's hey with the page of pinnacles so uh, the relationship could have uh, lost some of its zest its zing its spark it could have could have lost some of its life So there's, there's a need for a lot of talk and discussion and to um, spruce things back up because the page is also about um, doing things to shake things up out of boredom just to bring in some fun and excitement. So you see them as possibly bored in this connection. Um, so they're bringing in some conflict. And that's what we have for how they see you. I hope that's what I said at first. I do get the two mixed up sometimes, but this is how they see you as bringing in some conflict. And you're probably bored with this connection. So you're shaking it up. That's how they see you. You're shaking it up to bring in some thrill and excitement or to bring back some fun into the relationship. That's how they see you, Leos. Now let's move on over and take a look at how you see them. Okay, so you see them as the Six of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Now the Six of Swords is about movement, probably travel. It's about changing where you are inwardly. Usually this changes for the better whether it's internal or external it's about thinking about where you want to be there's there's a reduction in stress and strain things may not be perfect but they are going to be better than they have been in the recent past so this is a time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here even a short break or a change of scenery will be helpful at this time. This does not have to cost money. When the Six of Swords talks about love and relationships, it can mean a change of scenery. A need for a change of scenery. If you're in a relationship, take your, per your person on a trip, even if it's down the street for a picnic or something of that sort. If you're looking for love, or a relationship this current it points to a need to get out of your normal routine and your usual search if you want to meet someone new it's about exploring so this is how you see the person you're dealing with you see them as a six of swords you see them as needing to move there's a need for some type of change some type of relocating uh, some type of transition is needed that's how you see them because it's with this knight of wands um, the knight of wands is about making it a point to talk to each other to improve your feelings of closeness. The Knight of Wands is also about travel, if you can manage to get away. Yeah, it's about having a lot of energy and movement to travel. Self-confidence is increasing. It's about messages coming in, positive messages, very positive ones. It's about being fearless and brave. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, it's about being more successful than you had hoped or expected or predicted. So you see them as uh, wanting to charge in with some type of change. Uh, what's, they could be wanting to move towards you or move or travel. They, they're wanting to, you see them as wanting to come in really fast. Or you're hoping that they will. 
come in really fast and brave and be bold about it as as this knight of wands wanting to uh change the situation or connection for the better yeah that's how you see them so you want them to come in really really strong as this knight of wands and just Transition this connection. Make it move towards a better place as the Six of Swords. And that's how you see them. You see them as possibly wanting to do this. Now let's take a look at why it's all happening. Because of the Death card. And we have the Page of Swords. Now the Death card does not necessarily, not necessarily, or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will, and such things, such things are not written in stone. This card simply indicates transformation and change. This is definitely a time of deep transformation, likely to be both internally and externally in your life. Situations, things, and people that you've counted on or gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Keep in mind this transition. It can be a very difficult time for some people. The change, though, is nearly always needed. When the death card talks about love and relationships, if, if you are clinging to a relationship, that, you, that you're deeply unhappy in because you don't want to let go of the familiar or because you hate the thought of being alone, you're doing neither yourself or your person any favors. Have a frank and honest discussion about the problems that you have in the relationship. And if they can't or won't make change or you can't or won't, then perhaps it's time to let it go. Because not all relationships are fixable, but you should try first. Now, this is why it's all happening. It's because of this death card. There is a need for a deep transformation. Or there could have been some type of deep transformation. The transition can be difficult. And it's paired with this Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords is about mild conflict. You have to know when to push and when to back off. Because a lot of fights and discussions, they're not actually not really worth having. Especially if your partner is treating you with respect. So allow your partner to have his or her own space at this time with this Page of Swords. And um, this is going to be crucial for happiness very crucial with this page of Sto swords it's a could be about a message coming in and it's in, with a sword there it's not the type of message that you want to hear so it's once again it's all happening because of this death and and the page of swords something needs to deep transform because there could be a lot of uh, conflict maybe fighting in this relationship uh Someone could be feeling like they they get their toes stepped on a lot in this connection. Uh, someone could be pushing too fast. Um, or just saying things. Sharp things that you, you don't really feel this person should be saying. And it's causing this connection to undergo some type of change. Some type of deep transformation. Uh, like I said, someone could be in this connection because it's just familiar or comfortable. Or they just hate the thought of being alone. And um, so there's a need for some deep transformation. And it's causing some conflicts and fights. Yeah, someone is saying things that, that are probably harsh and sharp. And that's why it's all happening. So, Leo, I hope you enjoyed this reading. 
There's going to be a link below of the extended of this reading and I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. If I don't get a chance to do the extended, there's always a link for personal readings. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I hope that 2020 is going well for you. I hope March is a beautiful month for you. Once again, I want to say thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.